Let me check my Pip Boy. <laughs> oh, that button doesn't work. Oh okay. no, Tucker, we're over encumbered. Oh no. Let's go break down these cups and get some screws. Oh no, I looked down my sights and now I'm on a roof. Somewhere else. Light bulb. Oh. Hey. Okay. See, we're already. Wow. We're really good at this game, Michael. Oh, oh Let's shit. Let's go say hi to. Oh uh... shit. You want to hang out with Yaskbaskaba? Wait, no, we're trying to go through the bad, bad bathhouse. It's true, kid. Okay, Michael, here's what I want to do this episode of Persona 4. Are we going to try to remember that, what, what we were doing in this episode? Yes. No, I think we have to go... Let's just go to the bathhouse. Were we... I forget how to do that. Were we grinding for that? We go to the Junus, you know. Every day is a dup a dup a Junus. Every day is great at your Junus. And then we go into the TV. Into the TV land. Oh no, first we talk to our gang. Hi gang. What's the situation? Get bent. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. That kanji. Let's enter the TV. Let's go. So Michael. Yes. I usually come up with dumb things to talk about. On this episode of Persona 4, I would like you to just free associate and we can talk about whatever you'd like. Oh god, no. I can't lead. I'm not a leader. I'm a follower. Michael's the leader! No! No! I'm gonna be searching for kanji. You come up with the conversation topics. And go. So, Tucker. Yeah. Um... We were only in Hall 3. Be careful! Be bear <laughs> More like more bear full. careful. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> there's a star. So, Tucker. Yeah. Have you read anything about the new I, Doom? Yeah. People seem to like it quite a bit. What do you think of the new Doom? I have to play it. I'll say this, Michael. I'll say this. Oh god. Okay. I'll say this, Michael. Um, if that game is good, which I have accepted as a possibility, they did not market that well. Let's see, let's Wait, how should you have marketed it then? I mean, it's like you're in, like, if the game is Doom being this badass, let's kill. Shoot. You know, like, dude, we're gonna freaking shoot demons with big machine guns. Yeah. It seems like they kind of sold it as that kind of game. They did? I don't know. The impression I got of it was. Killing things with big guns. I disagree. Because the E3 demo was just, here's the melee kills. Which is not interesting, and it's not what I'm looking for. And it sounds like it's not a huge part of that game, or at least it's better in the game than they made it look. But then to follow that up with a multiplayer beta that no one seemed to like. Except Zach, I guess, liked it. Mm. That was sweet. Oh yeah, Zach did like it, didn't he? Chie, no! You were Screw you, Chie, I'll kick you in the face. Freaking Japanese schoolgirl. Piece of garbage. Filth. Trash. But yeah, I'd like to play it. These guys suck. This is taking forever. I just want to kill them. I like this lady on horseback, though. That's a nice... That's a good piece of business. Really knows how to rock the, uh, Boofoo's day. I hear its weakness! Oh. You're my senpai! 
Oh, screw you, Chie. Seriously. Oh, whatever. <laughs> we go. It took Jesus. way too long for what that was. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm just I thinking. Think... <sighs> Part of me thinks it. Like I. <laughs> go ahead. Sorry. Continue. No. After you. Well, I thought Battleborn was going to be complete garbage, and it's not super amazing or anything, but it's good. It's like okay. So maybe the same is true of Doom. Well, I mean, it just kind of—I don't know. What do you think of like when you think about Doom? I think of um. Fast moving, yes. health pickups. Yes. You can aim upwards. Yes. There's a chainsaw. Yes. You got the little guy at the bottom of the screen darting his eyes back and forth. Yes. I think of lots of like secrets. Yes. Which apparently this one has and a lot mostly, of. Mostly. Yes, which is cool. And mostly, I just think of how I like Quake better. But it's not like I was. I didn't need them to like make a new Quake or something because I don't think that would be good. They tried that. It's called Quake Four. That's the one where they have the surgery scene, or is that Quake Three? Yep. Oh. Yep. Okay. See, what happened was Quake started out as this like Nordic RPG, right? Which was amazing, and then it became Quake, which is just this shooter, but it's like all demonic and everything. And then in Quake 2, the campaign is like Space Marines. Is that bad? That sounds awesome. Yes. I don't like Quake 2. Oh. I think Quake 2 is kind of bad. But Space Marines. Like, it's just like generic, like, the Strog! Oh no! It's basically, uh, uh,. I think these guys are weak to wind. Yes, it's all coming back. Um, it's basically the Borg. Hmm. And uh, I believe Half-Life is the same engine as Quake 2, so playing Quake 2 feels a lot like playing a worse version of Half-Life. Gotcha. At least to me. There are people who like Quake 2. <laughs> we don't associate with them. Well, I don't know. Like, every game has fans, I guess. That's what I can do. You know, like Jumping Flash 2. Jumping Flash 2 is kind of garbage, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know. Uh, there's a wonderful YouTube channel. Ah! Shoot. It doesn't exist anymore, Michael. I don't know. Oh my god. Man, you really rocked out to Wham. Oh my god. Whatever. Must Sweet. not have been a big Limbiscuit fan. Oh my god. I forget how the yeah, rest the of hot dog water. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. I only know that song from WWE. Or was no. it WWF at the time? Fred Durst has been in like five video games. I don't understand. You really? Yeah. He was in the Fight Club video game. Also, there was a Fight Club video game. There's a Fight I don't know if I switched to the... Yeah. It's a fighting game where you can play as Fred Durst. <laughs> Do tell more. That's about it. But I mean... Like... Wow, one... Okay, to go back to the Doom thing, though, I just don't... Do you think it would have been better if they... If it, like, wasn't marketed as a new Doom? Um, or would, I don't would it even have done any like built any kind of following at all without that? I mean, it's a hard sell. Shoot. I don't know if I got way worse at this game or what happened, but uh, Zio, Bufu, Wind Boost, the Huh. 
What was the name of the cat thing in uh, Garfield. Final Fantasy Seven? Cat Sith. Kate. Kite. Kite Does Sith. Sith mean something? It's like a Jedi, but like evil. Say what? Yeah, man. Cause like, but wait, are the Jedi's the evil ones? Whoa. Tucker, are, are you George Lucas? What if, like, Shades of Grey, yo? <laughs> wow. But I mean, like, okay. I'm just kind of thinking, yeah. like... It all comes back to Kate Sith. <laughs> yes. Speaking of remakes, but... Oh, God, yeah. How are they going to handle that? That game's so weird and goofy. Yeah, oh, no, I... Man, I need to get back to playing that game. But like, did you? How far did you get? I got get? through. I got out of the underground prison. The big stu scene with Barrett and the uh, the one guy from his past. I can't think of his name, but it's like the big oh, emotional okay. sequence. He also yeah. has a gun arm. Right. He also has a gun arm. That game's nuts. <laughs> It has these weird tone shifts, oh and God. it's just like, I don't know, I'm... Oh, wow. Sorry, I'm yes. Just... Yes. Did you get to the part with Kate Sith where his character is revealed to you in a meaningful no. way? I oh. know the twist. Okay. I think it's kind of dumb that they gave that much agency to such a... Because he's just like... Because you had said before that he's just kind of inserted into your party. He's like, oh, hey, I'm yeah. just going to be here, guys. And you're like, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Everybody in that game is just com like perpetually like, I don't know. We're going to go with the first idea we have and... <laughs> it's all going to work out. Because friendship... Because <laughs> it's anime, Michael. Man. It's anime. Where would these games be without friendship, Tucker? Tell me that. I don't know. Because it saves the world at the end, I'm sure. <laughs> Here's what happens, Michael. What? What are we talking about now? I don't know what happens at the end of Final Fantasy VII, but let me describe to you the ending. Are you ready? Come on. Uh -huh. Okay. So. Um. Okay, so you've saved the world. Okay. Right? Or have you? Because after you fight the last boss, Sephiroth appears. And then you fight Sephiroth, but then, after you beat him, he says, This isn't even my final form. And then he becomes a demon. King. Sephiroth. Okay. Demon King Kami Sephiroth. Yes. Goku. And then... Oh, come on, Chie-chan. <laughs> These guys hit hard. Um, and then you all band together your friendship, and it creates a rainbow. And then the rainbow strikes Sephiroth, Demon King, in his heart. And then... I'm just describing the end of Final Fantasy IX, just so we're clear. Okay. This sounds... like... JRPGs in general. It sounds like anime. Final Fantasy IX... <laughs> has one of the weirdest endings... I've ever encountered. Because it's kind of what I'm describing, but not really. Um, I know... Yeah. And where was I getting with the whole Final Fan? I have no idea. Kate Sith was there? <laughs> Kate Sith was there. Well, I was just wondering because the it's one like a cat. persona's name was Ku Sith, Sith, and is it like Sith me something? I'm sure it does. So but anyway, um, it kind of flashes hmm. back, I guess, to this idea of man, there's a lot of remakes slash remasters going around right now. 
Oh my god. What? Yes. <laughs> there are. Yeah. I think Ratchet and Clank is one of the worst. Which is weird, because apparently it's gotten pretty decent for us. I don't trust any of it anymore. Not after Fallout 4. That's when it broke for me, Michael. That's when it all came tumbling oh, down. Oh, you mean 2015 the House of Game Cards. of the Year RPG Pinnacle um, The very same. Yeah, Fallout 4 is a dumpster fire with really contrived plot points and kind of just clunky gameplay altogether. But hey. I didn't make it through the plot. I didn't either. But hey, there's a smarmy <laughs> robot detective. Yeah. Who gets lost and then you guys all yell at me because the game's broken. <laughs> Jeez, Tucker, just get good. <laughs> God. No. Nope. I hate it. Yeah, no. Fallout 4. I. <laughs> Michael, 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 yeah. Michael, what? Michael. I want you to turn your chair around and straddle it and talk to me about Fallout 4. Let's have a real talk about Fallout All right, 4. Alright, real talk about Fallout 4. Hey, kids, listen up. <laughs> so, Fallout 4. It's your, <laughs> yeah. your everyday, you know, American RPG made by okay. notorious dumpster arsonists Bethesda yep who else made Doom no they published it or published yeah. it yeah speaking of the devil but uh okay so wh what do you want to know about Fallout 4 <laughs> tell me about Fallout 4 well it's a popular <laughs> game it's got a bit of a following <laughs> yep <laughs> Yep. Somehow. No, I understand why it has a following. I understand the charms behind it. I understand why people like it. Uh, but man. It's like people are into ska music. Sorry, Christian. <laughs> we heart you, Christian. We, it's okay if you like real big fish, Christian. It's okay if you still like Sublime more like... without ever having listened to Sublime in Rome, Christian. I'm talking about... Cherry popping daddies is what I'm talking about. Okay. Can you elaborate on that phrase? Uh. You were a popular swing band in the 90s. Their song Zoot Suit Riot went to number one. Oh. On oh, yeah. Stereo Gum had a thing about that. Yeah. Stereo Gum's kind of bad. Anyway. I guess I don't mean that. I just, like, uh, the people who are into, like, way into Fallout creep me out, man. Well. Because there's, like, nothing to that world. It's, like, uh, old timey music, and they have cola bottles. Well, actually, and it's like, the thing that I think it does the best is its aesthetic. But anyway, is that whole, like, cola bottle. It doesn't have an aesthetic. Yeah, it does. It's like I this, hate it. It's like this uh, neo Cold War era diesel punk kind of thing. Or is that nuclear punk? I don't know That's what the... That's the dream. Yeah, and it's That's neat. the dream, Michael. Wait, what? It doesn't come through in the game at all. Yeah, it does. We haven't had a shovel time yet. Dude, there's like laser rifles and freaking... Freaking robot Chinese. A the, there's aliens and Coke bottles and cars <sighs> that look like rocket ships and... What... People thought okay. rocket ships would look like okay. the 50s. You're, and you're describing made out of nuclear weapons and. You're talking about Toy Story, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Shoot. But like, I don't know. I think it does the aesthetic well. That's the thing I think it does the best, actually. But uh, no. Um, the thing that bothers me about it is that its plot is really, really dumb. And it pretends like it isn't. And the fact that it's also a raging dumpster fire, that's bound to break on you eventually. Or most likely. No, it probably will. Through most playthroughs of a Fallout game, I've had something go horribly, horribly wrong. So. I. That was the most technically broken playthrough of game I have ever experienced. Was my PS4 Fallout 4. Which is. 
weird to me because I've talked to other people who have played it on the PS4 and they've they haven't had any problems like that. They don't know what they're talking about. Other Michael. than the usual, like, oh look, Preston's glit clipped into a wall. <laughs> kind of. That was so. Oh my god, that is my least favorite part of that game. Is they were like, it's gonna have quests forever, and all that is is you go up to Preston. And he's like, oh, camp is under attack by raiders, and then you go kill the raiders, and you come back. He's like, I got another raider attack for you. A settlement needs our help. Screw that Thank game. you, General. Game. I met you out of nowhere, but I made you General of our <laughs> insurgent organization. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He makes you General because he doesn't want to deal with it, and then he spends the entire game telling you what to do. That game is garbage. <laughs> Throw that game in the trash. Yeah, no, that's... Todd Howard. It's like, okay, and that's like a thing for every Bethesda RPG, is like, you're this, you're like, you're supposed to be this wanderer. Like, this guy who has, like, no connection to these groups, no experience you with these groups. God. Someone who's just trying to survive in these worlds. You are everything. But then you, like, do one kind thing, or maybe a few kind things for these groups out of nowhere, and suddenly you're recruited into this brotherhood of heavily armed, uh, like, this bro like this, like this cult to machinery. You're recruited into this underground organization. You're recruited into this, like, institute. You're recruited into. You're recruited and be made general of this other. I am Patrick Stewart. It's just kind of weird. I don't know. You are the chosen one. Yeah, but it's like you're everyone's chosen one, and you, yeah, like do nothing to really earn it other than a random mission because you happen to be there. I was a housewife. Okay, not that housewives can't do amazing things. Not trying to get on anybody's bad side. Except Fallout 4 fans. Um, Fallout 4 fans. Let's play Morrowind. If you hear this, or see this, or watch this, <laughs> explain to me why I should care about a plastic baby that I'm forced to interact with. God, it looks with. like a piece of poop with a mouth yeah. on it. It's yeah. disgusting. And, like, everyone's argument is, oh, it's your son. <laughs> well, that's just like a forced plot device. <laughs> it's like here you go, super doo bop. Man, we should do a playthrough of Fallout 4. Let's see if that we can do it without it blowing up in our face. Impossible. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, Maybe. other members of the Double Jump crew got away with it, and they beat the game Ian without any serious significant. Or so they say, Michael. Honestly, at this point, they might be in denial. It would not surprise me. Yeah. But... I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do a video about that game sometime. Because, like, I play... Like, I've done... I haven't actually beaten it, because I grew incredibly uninterested in it. But, uh... And this is coming from someone who's a big fan of Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. Uh, Fallout New Vegas. But, um... Mostly New Vegas. That's a good game. But um, New Vegas is cool. Oh, New Vegas is awesome. I think New Vegas is really cool. Oh my god! Because it's like nuclear age cowboys. Cowboys. That's exactly yeah. what I wanted out of a Fallout game. But yeah, and it's like written by humans. Yeah, and you have like instead of like... actually well, well, the Legion's kind of a boring group. Yeah. But, like, you have the NCR, you have Dr. House. Or not Dr. House. Mr. House. Dr. House. The house always wins, Michael. You have, and you can just rule it on your own. It's like, I don't know. I thought the factions were a lot cooler than that. I thought the, uh, aesthetic was a cooler. I just thought it was more fun to, like, explore and find stuff. Yeah. And... I agree. And the plot didn't revolve around a plastic baby. That's true. Uh, the plot wasn't great there either. I mean, the plot was really know. not the plot. The plot was really just the conflict. It's a reason for you to go places. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? But, uh... Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Something inside of me has changed. But, like, 
Sweet. Ooh. Arm chopper. Oh wow. Okay. I don't know. Wow. It's like they there's some leveling up going on. And they market about how like full this world is and how much content there is and everything you can do. But it's always like the same thing. Usually. No, even when it's not the same thing, it's the same thing. Just with a different yeah. setup. It's true. Like, go shoot the raiders in this factory. Go. Will do. Go shoot the raiders in the factory, but this time for this other group. Oh, look, robot pirates need you to go shoot raiders in this factory. And the whole time the music is going. I'm an old time guy. I don't want to set doop, doop, the world doop, doop. on fire. Here's that same song again in five minutes. Cause there's like four songs. Doop, boop, boop, doop, boop. I got spurs that can go tangle, tangle. Something, 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 Congo, something, something, Congo. Oh, <laughs> you're bringing back really bad memories for me, Michael. <laughs> I don't know, man. For a lot of people, oh. those are good memories. That's so weird. Do they know there's other video games? I don't know. I think... I worry sometimes. Bethesda's... I don't know. Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! Crap. Out. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. Uh, You've never fought this before. I'm doing something. Which is like a save state. Okay. Uh, he doesn't have any... Shoot. Um, what was I gonna say? I sometimes feel like the... Conversations about video games... Like, in general are like... It's like anti-intellectual in a way where like, if most film discussion was about like, the new Transformers movie or something. Like, how do you mean? Like, the games that get discussed are like, blockbusters. Even in like... Like, you can't get away from that. Oh, I kind of totally agree. I find it frustrating, which is actually why I thought it was really cool that last year games like Her Story and uh, Undertale, yeah, and... like those got a lot of press because those are like yeah, and like those are oh, indie, oh like God. small time made. Like it wasn't like these big blockbusters. They were games that were more. I don't know. Last year was really cool. Last year was an interesting year for video games. I, I agree. I think this year is a really interesting year for video games. But we're not even getting a Fallout or Elder Scrolls, Tucker. Oh my god, there's another one? Oh my god! Ah, it's Hulk Hogan! Neon brother! Hulk Hogan's... No! Hulkamania's gonna run wild on us, brother. Oh, we need to heal. So yeah. you can hold out and have Fusio, Yasuke do the... Secunda? Christ. The win. Oh, he doesn't oh, have any mat. Oh, God. Uh, so what I'm gonna do... Shoot. Oh, boy. Do I heal myself or do I heal Yosuke? Heal well, you have to heal yourself because if you go down, the whole gang's lost. Okay. And hopefully we can get to Yasuke before Hulkamania. Oh God! Us. See, that was a good idea to heal ourselves. <laughs> but now I have to heal. Oh my God! Okay, so you get this, and hopefully, um, are you strong? Okay. So, no. What I'll do is use this on him. Oh, I hope he doesn't die, though. Okay. Does that heal everybody? Yes! Okay. Okay. Good. 
I like uh, I like Yukiko as healer. That's a good, that's a good fit. I agree. So now I'm just gonna defend. I think. Shit. Shit. Oh. Shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Garu, sorry. Okay. Wow, that didn't really do anything. Let's go, partner! Go. We're not gonna win this fight. It's gonna do like two damage. Yeah. Alright, you get what? Healing Yasuke? Not a thing anymore? No, we got this! Can't lose Yay. Michael. Well, okay, because if Yasuke gets one more hit, he's down. Yeah. Uh, okay. They're still in this, Guardians. Oh, Yuki chan, that was lovely. Oh, Yuki -chan, that was lovely. Oh. Yeah, do it. Fine. Do it. Yeah, Galactic Pun. <laughs> okay. I better get a level up out of that. Okay. Hey, Lamau. <laughs> We're never doing this again. <laughs>